after months of waiting, a new 5-star character is finally released. Yelan has captured the hearts of artists and fans worldwide with her elegant design. Is Yelan a harbinger of a new era of metagame, or is she a hard skip? This video will demystify many of Yelan's secret in order to help you make an informed decision on how to spend your precious Primo gems before you wish. Regardless of the information presented, if you enjoy a character for reasons like their voice actor, aesthetic, and personality, these videos are by no means meant to stop you from spending your Primo Gems on what brings you fun and happiness. Instead, consider this video as a sort of a preparation for what you're getting into if you did spend your Primo Gems, detailing the obstacles one must overcome to use the character to their true potential. Yelan is a Hydra bow unit who plays as an off-field burst DPS. Most of the time, Yelan will use her skill followed by her burst, and then switch off to an auto-attacking DPS. On the surface, many are tempted to compare her to a familiar 4-star unit, Xingxiu, due to their similar burst and element. However, Yelan and Xingxiu have different goals on a team as well as different stat scaling. Yelan, for example, focuses on maximizing her personal off-field damage with HP scaling, while Xingxiu's damage scales off with attack. It's important to emphasize that Yelan does not benefit from common attack bonuses, including Bennett's Burst, Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayer, Noblesse Oblige, Tenacity of the Melolith, and Millennial Movement Bust from weapons like Freedom Sworn and Song of Broken Pines. When compared to Xingxiu, however, Xingxiu does not reap the benefits of Bennett's Burst buff either, due to not snapshotting the flat attack buff when bursting. Noblesse, Tenacity of the Melolith, and Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayers all work on Xingxiu due to his attack scaling, but a buffless C0 Yelan's damage potential through higher scalings and signature weapon can compete or surpass a fully geared C6 Shinsho. Her elemental skill allows her to sprint at extremely high speeds to entangle enemies, damaging them upon a skill's release. Tapping her skill deals damage to whatever enemy is directly in front of her, generating four elemental particles. However, this alone is not sufficient to fund her burst. It has a cooldown of 10 seconds, so two skills per rotation to maximize energy returns can potentially extend your rotation to 22 seconds due to your cast time, extremely similar to Xingxiu. A rotation extension may be worth considering if she is the only Hydra character on your team. Alternatively, Yelan, like Xingxiu, can equip a sacrificial weapon to eliminate the need for a rotation extension. C1 provides a similar quality of life buff by adding a charge to her skill. Yelan's elemental burst, however, is nearly identical to Xingxiu's in a sense that when the active character auto attacks, Yelan will initiate a synchronized rage hydro attacks in triplets. Xingxiu and Yelan have similarly demanding energy requirements and they have similar burst costs and cooldown times. Xingxiu's burst lasts for 15 seconds and has a 20 second cooldown and costs 80 energy. Yelan's burst lasts for 15 seconds, has an 18 second cooldown and costs 70 energy. Yelan's burst is where the vast majority of her damage comes from, so gear that improves burst damage, such as Emblem of Severed Fates, is recommended alongside enough energy recharge to comfortably allow her to burst every rotation. Compounding with her potential to surpass Xingxiu's damage, she can also provide a ramping buff for the duration of her burst via her passive talent. The buff starts small, but grows every second. At the beginning of her burst, the damage boost on your active character is 1%. For each following second, the number increases by 3.5%, and by the end of her burst duration, the active character has a whopping 50% damage bonus. This effect does not reset when switching characters. The most likely beneficiaries of the bonus will be on field normal attacking DPS Yelan is paired with. Often, this will include a pyro DPS like Hu Tao or an electro DPS like Raiden. In some team compositions, Ayato can benefit while providing Yelan with energy. Her other passive increases her max HP based on the number of different elements present in the party's composition, scaling from 6% HP bonus with a true mono hydro team to 30% with a 4 element team. Most of the time, you can expect to have an 18% HP bonus due to usually wanting an animal unit on the team to lower Hydra resistance for Yelan, as well as a Pyro or Electro units to facilitate reactions. This allows one open slot to bring a Hydra battery as needed. 
Yilin follows a similar trend in 5-star design to Ito and Yai Miko, sacrificing the utility their 4-star functional counterpart provides for raw power. For example, Ito sacrifices Noel's shielding and healing capabilities for hard-hitting combos, and Yai Miko has turrets like Fischl, but exchanges Fischl battery potential and elemental application for a powerful elemental burst. When it comes to Yilin and Xingxiu, Yilin sacrifices Xingxiu's damage reduction, minor healing, and extra high Hydra application from the defensive swords when making contact with the enemy. However, Yelan is not a strict upgrade to Xingxiu. The aforementioned utility Xingxiu provides is extremely valuable and cannot be substituted by Yelan, so it's not immediately clear which is a better fit for a team in all cases. Fortunately, the redundancy of having both units is much like having Kazaha and other animal units with a good crowd control. Being able to use an extremely powerful asset on both Spiral Abyss team can be an incredible boon to some accounts as it adds flexibility to possible team choices. The way you will want to build Yelan will largely depend on her teammates. This should be established before you decide to get on gear for Yelan. As mentioned before, those familiar with Xingxiao's high energy requirements have an idea of what to expect when it comes to Yelan. Without hydro batteries, Yelan needs solid ER substats and an energy recharge sands or weapon to reliably burst off cooldown. Opting in for a rotation extension and a second skill used per rotation can drop her ER requirements by up to 50%. This would allow you to invest a similar value into Fessin stats like HP% percent or Crit%. Percent. This is especially recommended when choosing DPS focused weapons for Yeilan, like her signature bow, Aqua Simulacra. Xingxiu and Raiden are by far the best batteries for Yeilan. Independently, Xingxiu generates plenty of hydro particles to funnel Yeilan's way, especially when holding a sacrificial sword and Raiden reduces Yelan's requirements by giving flat energy to the team and is an excellent driver for Yelan's burst. Less effective, but still valuable batteries include Ayato as an on-field DPS and Kokomi or Fischl as an off-field support unit who regularly refresh their skills. In Hu Tao teams, Yelan is likely not a replacement for Xingxiu. This is due to Yelan's slightly reduced Hydra application being unable to keep up with the speed of those who have mastered Hu Tao's animation cancels. Instead, Yelan synergizes with Xingxiu, as Xingxiu provides Hydra resistance shred at C2 and is an excellent battery for facilitating Yelan's burst. When paired with Pyro DPS units that apply Pyro more slowly, like Yoimiya or Diluc, Yelan's Hydra application is less of an issue and can fit as a substitute if needed. In Raiden teams and other teams utilizing the Electro Charge reaction, Yelan's personal damage alone is enough to earn a spot on the team with the reactions being a bonus. Taser teams also benefit from her raw firepower if the Taser team can survive with fewer defensive utilities. Reaction soup teams, which mainly involve creating as many transformative electro-based reactions as possible also benefit from Yelan's Hydra application and damage output. As for freeze teams, Yelan is a fine choice, but rarely the best choice. Being best in single target scenarios, Yelan is suboptimal, a sole Hydra unit in freeze comps. The stats that define Yelan are energy recharge, HP percent, critical damage, and crit rate. Most of Yelan's damage come from her burst, so 4-piece emblem or severed fate is a natural first choice, offering both energy recharge and burst damage. Two-piece combination of Severed Fate, Noblesse Oblige, Heart of Deaths, and Tenacity of the Millilith can also do the job. Energy recharge weapons allow you to sometimes run HP% percent timepieces, and other types of weapons will usually require energy recharge timepiece. Her goblet should be higher damage percent, with HP% percent also being a viable option, and the circlet should, as usual, be a crit stat. HP% percent again is viable as an alternative circlet option. Substats should focus on energy recharge, HP% percent and crit. With batteries allowing for low energy recharge requirements, crit weapons become more valuable. Aqua Simulacra, Yelan's signature weapon, is the best 5-star bow for her, granting a 16% HP bonus and a 20% damage bonus even when off-field. Like the previously released Redhorn's Stone Stretcher, it provides a whopping 88% crit damage stat, making it much easier to reach desired crit values. This confines Yelan to using energy recharge time 
design piece. When well batteried, other 5 star bubble options with crit stats like Skyward Harp and Thundering Pulse become much more valuable. However, if she is not accompanied by a battery of some kind, you may experience difficulty bursting off cooldown without a rotation extension for multiple uses of Yelan's skill. Energy recharge weapons offer more team flexibility for Yelan and allows her to more freely be the solo Hydra unit in a team without distress. The Favonius Warbow, a 4 star weapon given to every player for completing Monstat's story, is the best damage option at her highest energy requirements. Elegy of the End enables Yelan to expand her ability to support your team. The event bow that accompanies her in 2.7, Fading Twilight, is a solid option for personal damage when you don't have the high refinement sacrificial bow due to Fading Twilight being free to refine and well rounded to Yelan's need in energy recharge and damage percent bonuses. For those who missed the event and want a totally free to play option, the 3 star recurve bows and slingshot both provide desirable stats and don't even need refinements. When it comes to constellations, C1 offers an extra charge to Yelan's skill, essentially stapling a sacrificial series passives to her. Those familiar with the sacrificial weapons understand how much they help satisfying energy requirements. When Yelan is a sole hydro unit on your team, this constellation benefits Yelan's damage more than her signature weapon does. C2 offers a fourth higher damage projectile added to her burst every 1.8 seconds, allowing Yelan to deal more damage and apply slightly more hydro. C3 levels up Yelan's burst, the main source of her damage. C4 increases the team's max HP, which helps Yelan synergize with other HP scaling teammates like Hu Tao or Ayato, as well as their personal damage. C5 boosts her skill's damage, and C6 enables Yelan to take a few more seconds of field time for a large burst of damage. By changing 5 of her normal attacks to her signature aim shot, this deals an extra AoE damage and converts her normal attacks to Hydro while active. To conclude, Yelan fits into a variety of teams despite being bottlenecked by extremely high energy requirements, though this is greatly alleviated by her first constellation. She offers new option to vaporize and electrocharge teams that utilize normal attacks in the form of buffs and raw power. Yelan can function fine on her own as an off-field DPS, but carries your team from the backline when supported by a powerful battery. Her most effective teammate, Xingxiao, has been in the game since launch and has been given away for free multiple events. Teams that use Xingxiao can add Yelan to the team as well for the boost of single target damage. And in teams where she is used as an alternative to Xingxiao, she offers damage at a cost of utility and extra Hydra application. Pure HP scaling frees her from needing common buffs that are highly contested in other team composition. Though this is a double-edged sword as it is difficult to find external buffs for Yelan outside of Veritas and Venera's Resistance Shred, Kaza, or Shinsho constellations. On a different note, ideal F2P weapons are stronger than many 5-star options and are acquired in-game without the need of any gacha-only alternatives. Players looking for a novel combat experience from this character might not be satisfied and can progress through the game with Shinsho instead for a similar effect but lower damage. Because of this, it is hard to recommend Yelan as a must-pull for anyone. But she is an extremely powerful unit with fair restrictions to reaching her full potential and an asset to multiple top DPS characters. Thank you for watching this quick overview of Kitchen Main's theorycrafting staff's thoughts on Yelan. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and we will do our best to answer them.